Right, welcome back boys and girls to the madcenter.com. So this is the last part in a series of very short videos that I did on uh, this chapter called Indices and Certs using one of the recommended textbooks. All right. Um, this is for my student who asked me this question from his textbook. So in the fifth video, uh, in, the early, in the video before this, I've addressed question A, B and C. And now I would like to address question D. So, um, okay, now uh, I've addressed this, the part A, my answers for part A is here, part B and part C. So in part D, they ask you how to prove that this is Pythagoras theorem. So I have two methods here. I actually prefer the second. The second is kind of easy to use, all right? So um, in the first part here, all I do is I use this, the Sykes. Pythagoras theorem says the summary of the sum of the square of both the shorter Sykes uh, equals to square of the hypotenuse, which is what I've done here. H1 squared, I call this hypotenuse, H1 squared equals to square root of, the, I mean it's a side here, this is a one complicated mouthful, right? Square, but here's the same, it's, this is the same, it's 44 minus 14 root 2 squared. Okay, so remember Pythagoras theorem, sum of square of the two shorter sides equals to uh, the square of the hypotenuse. So I've done that. And then I hit this number 88 minus 28 root 2. So from both, I took out common factor 4, record 22 minus 7 root 2. So the this hypotenuse H1 here will be square root of this whole thing. Hence, I've written it here. Square root of 4 bracket 22 minus 7 root 2. Now, square root of 4 is 2. So the final answer, the hypotenuse is H, is 2 bracket 22 minus 7 root 2. Okay, or you could use this simple idea, which I like in uh, representing in uh, with a different form. I call it sides h and h. Okay, let's call it h and h. So by Pythagoras, h squared plus h squared equals to h one squared. h squared h squared is two h squared is h one squared. So h uh, sorry to find h one, h one will be square root of two h squared okay now the h represents the site which is uh, the site is 44 minus 44 minus 14 root 2 okay so that's h okay so what do I have so I have this line here h1 squared equals 2 h squared so h1 is square root so h1 squared I represented I substitute the h inside here so h squared will be remove the root sign will be 44 minus 14 root 2 so h1 squared will be 2 bracket 44 minus 14 root 2 right so uh, okay I took out 2 as a common factor so left behind 4 2 times 2, 4, bracket 22 minus 7 root 2. So H1 will be root of the whole entire thing. Root of 4 will be 2 times root of 22 minus 7 root 2, which is the same. And you can choose either way to prove Pythagoras theorem. Okay, we are done. So do give us a like and follow us on social media. Uh, do subscribe to our courses if you liked what, we, what I teach and... Uh, if you like to have to join us for the up and coming uh, classes online where we meet regularly once a week for our IGCSE year 10 and year 11 uh, what we call online learning face to face but online learning do join us and do write in to make some inquiries okay we are going to we have lots of exciting interesting things happening so do follow us and do keep in touch with us I'll see you soon